Uh, I just wanted to share a few things that came in today, and one of them is being an autograph request that came in. Hopefully I can find it here in this mess. And I got a few pictures that came in. I might show off some of those. I got a few Goodwill pickups today. And um, one of the things I wanted to do for 2014 is maybe have a... I'm sorry, 2014. I got 2014 on the brain today. Uh, it feels like it. Uh, for 2018, I want to do maybe a new backdrop. And I had promised that a while back ago and I never got around to that. But let's just start showing off the things that came in today. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show off was some Goodwill pickups here. And I found a bunch of old Blazers tickets. A Portland versus Sacramento of 2009. And that's a cool one there. Uh, I got a couple of um, just generic Blazers tickets here uh, for the Kings and the Lakers. That's pretty cool. And then I got another, uh, uh, this is Portland versus Washington. I forgot who that is on there. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, a, that might be Greg Oden. I'm not sure. And then the other one, I don't remember who that is. It, it usually says, I don't know. I don't remember who that guy was, if anybody remembers. And then I got uh, the Trailblazers uh, 2014 uh, playoffs. That's what I was thinking, 2014 at the Moda Center uh, playoffs game. So that's really pretty kind of cool. And then um, the TTM that came in is one that I resent. And uh, this is coming back because uh, the post office didn't deliver it properly. And uh, this is Dennis Rabant. Uh, Dennis Ribant there on the 67 tops, which is really pretty cool. I think I purchased this off of, uh, oh, I don't know, New England Sports Cards, or I got this off COMC, I don't remember, but whatever it was, it was not more than a dollar. Anyway, so that one finally came back. I just resent that recently, and that's pretty cool to get that one in. And then, let's see, what else do I have really quickly here? I went to the card shop, and I picked up quite a few things here, but I'll just show a few of them. Uh, these were in the three for a dollar box, if you could believe that. This is the Upper Deck Winter, and it's a, a, a little little uh, subset or whatever, Winter, and there's ten cards in there. Patrick Lane is on the back, I believe Gretzky, uh, Venus Williams might be in the set. I'm not really sure who all, all is in here, but it's kind of a neat set. And uh, so there's that one, and I got three or four of those. I found this really awesome Bo Jackson uh, MLB Draft History card. I don't know what this was, but he had about 12 of them, and I picked up two of those. That's really pretty neat to have that one there. <laughs> and then I got um, Trey Mancini on the Norfolk Tides. These were um, all quarter besides the, the packs. And then I got a Trey Mancini, which I probably already have, of the Baltimore Orioles 2017 tops. So there's that one there. And then I got two more cards I wanted to show, and one of them is a special edition Barry Sanders. Unfortunately, it's got a damage on the top, but again, for a quarter, uh, special edition Barry Sanders uh, uh, leaping in the air or whatever with a basketball. I don't know why Barry Sanders has a basketball, but uh, that's pretty neat to have there. And you could see right there, there's a big chip out right there. And then there's some other spot that's slightly damaged, but uh, for a quarter I'm going to take that. And then this is the first one of these I have. The guy said probably approximately one per box. I'm thinking these uh, uh, negatives, tops negative or whatever. Travis Shaw. There's nothing special, but they're on eBay all over the place for five bucks. Try to build a set of those. I mean, that would be crazy. I don't know if they had had a full set of those. I don't really know, but there's one there, and that was a dollar for that one. And then uh, some of the pictures that I got in. Um, I'm working on my 80s photo collection, and uh, let's see what I have here. That one's got a dent on it somehow. Oops. Let's see what we have here. Um, some of these you might know. Uh, this is Different Strokes with uh, Todd Bridges and Gary Coleman and Dana Plato. I think this is the recently printed photograph, but it was an 8x10, and it's kind of really neat, really kind of cool, unusual shot there. That's pretty neat. And then what else do we have here? Uh, we've got Scott Bayo. Uh, right there, and I'm not exactly sure. I think this is one of those after-school specials, and I don't remember the title of it. Um, the uh, the original information has been torn off the back, uh, but there's that one. This is a 7 by 9 and then we have um, an original NBC photo of Mindy Cohn in uh, the uh, Facts of Life. I guess she was uh, pretending she was a soldier for the day and doing her reporting or whatever. Uh, Natalie Green, that was her name in the show. And this is 79 with the uh, original 
printer's information on the back of it, which is really cool. Um, then we have, this one was an, a mystery photograph, and it's another relatively recently, within the last 10 years probably, printed photograph. But it's kind of a neat one of Lori Laughlin and some dog, and I'm pretty sure that's who that is. In fact, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that's who that is, and that's a 7 by 9 but for 3 bucks or whatever, I think I would pick that one up. And then I have one more here. This is June Lockhart. Actually, I have two more. June Lockhart and Kim Hauser and Never Say Goodbye. It was some sort of CBS uh, uh, television movie or whatever, so that's kind of neat. And then... Um, 2017 or 2018 is going to be the year I get reorganized here, and this is a ABC Weekend Special, uh, the girl with ESP, and I remember those when I was a kid. I don't remember this one per very well, but uh, um, like I said, the prices weren't terrible, and I got the fourth picture free or whatever, and it was coming from Portland, Oregon, very close, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then, last but not least, two more Goodwill pickups. I'm almost done. Six minutes here. I got live from Austin, Texas, Eric Johnson on DVD, Austin City Limits. That's really pretty cool. And then I got this 80s record here. I know nothing about the Style Council. Um, that was not $3.99. It was $1.29 or whatever. And then there they are back there. So that's the stuff that came in. I will try to get things more organized. I've got another care package to go out. And uh, if anybody has any questions, comments, or do they just want to just say something, uh, thank you for watching.